Tonight's matches are as follows. The Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers versus the Hardy Boys. Three-way dance in a ladder match for the EMW Tag Team Championships. In a clash of the Colossals, Luchasaurus making his debut against the Big Red Machine, Kane. In a hardcore three-way dance, Sangre Guerrera versus the Rated R Superstar, Edge versus Sean Moxley. Killer Cross versus Darby Allen. And in our main event, for the EMW World Heavyweight Championship, the champion, the Demon King, Prince Aller, defends his championship against Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. With a lot at stake, welcome everyone to EMW versus WXF. Hello everyone, I am Eric the Red, Join along with, as always, Mr. Bonesaw Patrick Riley. How underwhelming it is to be here with you, Eric. Oh, likewise. The feeling's mutual, you know that? Well, as long as I don't have to smell you. Will you stop it, Patrick? I will not. Well, without any further ado, there's a lot going on here. And before we run down the matches, before we talk about everything going on, I got a lot to say. Omega, you want to treat this like a hitman job, don't you? You want to come to Sangri's gym, which Sangri, I totally apologize. Any damages EMW will pay for. You want to come in the gym and you want to disrespect EMW. You want to make this about you. I would have gladly had WXF and EMW featured. I'm not no forbidden door. We could have had this mutually, but you wanted to make this more of a uh, some type of hit and run invasion type of deal. It didn't need to be this way. And you want to have Cross take out one of my champions and call my champions targets? Cross, you're not the TV champion. I hope you know that. Now, Darby, if you win, which I'm sure you will, you will be first in line for the EMW TV title. I'll even consider making you an interim champion. I have the authority to do so. With that out of the way, Omega, you want war tonight? You got it, bro. Now, without any further ado, I want to run down the matches quickly. I don't want to make this about me or make this about anybody else. We got the EMW heavyweight title on the line, Finn Balor defending against Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. You got a really good hardcore match coming up. Three-way dance, Sangre Guerrero, Edge, John Moxley. You got Luchasaurus and Kane in the colossal showdown. But coming up right now, Lucha Brothers, Young Bucks, whatever side they're on with the Bullet Club, and the Hardy Boys. Triple threat ladder match for the EMW Tag Team Titles. Let's get this underway. Making their way now, the Young Bucks representing the Bullet Club. Those two gentlemen are are some of the best wrestlers in this company. They, let alone the world, hell, they they might be the tag team of this generation. I mean, look at those amazing gentlemen coming into this building, keeping us from from dealing with the uh, stink of Eric's failure. Will you get out of here with all this stuff? Look, I'm going to give credit where the credit's due here, okay? The Young Bucks, one of the greatest tag teams going in the sport today. However, their attitude, that kind of takes things to a whole different level here. They're pompous. They're looking. They're, they were just kicking the camera, the showboating, all the flashy gear, all the crazy stuff that they're doing just to rub it in people's faces. They, hey, they got hey, despicable attitude. Hey, hey, hey. There, there's nothing wrong with a little attitude. When you're that good, you can do anything. As we get prepared now for the Lucha Brothers coming out to the ring, Penta and Gray Phoenix. 
Funny enough, if there was another team that I could say that perfectly exemplifies the level of skill that the Young Bucks have, it's definitely the Lucha Brothers. They have been champions nearly any anywhere that the Young Bucks have been champions as well. So when you're talking about a matchup of the ages, really does come down to a matchup between the Lucha Brothers and, and the Young Bucks. So many wars with them personally. Uh, both guys here completely still world, you know, world champion in, in AAA and Impact and so on and so forth. Lengths that the Young Bucks haven't even achieved though, but making their way now, world champion speaking of, Matt and Jeff, the Hardy Boys. See, the Hardy Boys have been way, way, way past their prime here. They're, oh, come on. They are so way, way past their prime. It's it's ridiculous. They, they should not be champions. Let the younger, some of the younger guys have that belt. You, you, you have to be kidding me. You, you, you have these older, older guys who are taking up a spot on, on your roster, sucking up to the fans because the fans don't recognize excellence in the form of the Young Bucks. Mr. Bonesaw, may I remind you, if Macho Man were here right now, you'd be all for it. You missed their bias. I am not biased. You know what? Macho could still work in the circles around Matt and Jeff Hardy. Oh, uh, that's I to be seen. for a fact. Oh, we're right out of the gate. Super kick from Matt and a big kick there from Penta. Ladies and gentlemen, I have advice here. Don't blink. Well, oh, beautiful. Flip there from Phoenix, but now the Hardy's on the attack. Not a good idea for the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers to be immediately attacking one another. Even though I think that the Hardys are washed up and past their prime, they are Ooh. still definitely wily. Well, right now, the Bucks and the Lucha Brothers, they may be at odds because it is a triple threat match, mind you. They are holding their own here against the Hardys as Phoenix just throws Matt right to the floor. Oof. Big Poison Rana here from Nick onto Jeff. Wow. Oh, man. Jeff rolling to the outside. They're rolling near us. Oh, Pat, I don't like this one bit. Everybody's near. But what's Nick doing? Wait a minute. What's Phoenix doing? Oh, no. Spin is fly. Oh. Onto Matt Hardy. Oh, my goodness. They're onto everybody. Let's get a nice instant replay of that one. Almost right on my lap here. Come on, guys. The height of this was incredible. You gotta be kidding me here. But how much how much damage are you doing? Every time they do something like that, it takes a little bit out of them. It makes it harder for them to get up that ladder. Well, right now we're back live. Here's Phoenix on the ladder, but Jeff drop kicking him. Oh, and Phoenix over. Oh man, that's not gonna feel good. Jeff now. Beautiful cartwheel kick there. Oof. Remember, Jeff is nearly... Ooh. Big chair shot there. I was about to say he was nearly indestructible since we've seen how many shots he can take. The durability of that man is unmatched as now Penta oh, grabbing him for the package ball driver. Ooh. Penta with the package ball driver to Matt Jackson on the ladder. Oof. And now Watch Nick... Out, no. Oh! oh we got a nice goodness. replay of this one. The chaos, and we're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. The chaos ensuing here is coming next. This is, this is insane. The, the level of brutality is just incredible. I defy this brutality on a Monday night as Nick Jackson now getting that ladder poised up here. Oh, big kick there from... Ray Phoenix. Crowd chant, this is awesome. I can't disagree. Oh, face planted in a ladder goes Nick. These guys, the way they're hitting each other with the ladders, they're going to definitely need some plastic surgery after this is done. No kidding. Oh, Jeff is in such a bad state, you would think he's at Victory Road. Oh, come on, guy. Big drop kick here. Pat, you got to get yourself together, man. Well, show maybe, some class. Maybe that, should, maybe that should be the case for Jeff. Jeff is nothing but a sportsmanship here now. But wait a minute. 
Lift through a fork. That that ain't imbecile. That's not for that's not for wrestling. Matt Hardy with a forklift as he uh, looks. He's to putting everybody in, the, in this arena at jeopardy for doing something that's stupid. He's grabbing Nick now. Oh man, he's using that forklift. That that is so dangerous and, and irresponsible. And now now that maniac's putting a ladder on top. Oh no, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit at all. We've seen things from like this from Jeff in the past, but my God. Have some consideration for your body, man. How? Uh, th this is ridiculous. Isn't this the same man who's, who makes fun of Jeff for being a spot monkey? He's feeding his addiction here for being a spot monkey, as you see, Jeff. Oh, no. We got to get a vertical shot here. Jeff is a lunatic, but not to this extent. A production team, can we please get a vertical shot here? Look at the height of this. Oh, my God. Uh, come on. No, 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 wait a minute, the unbox move, oh, that was a near, nearly lethal for, for, for Matt Jackson, staggering of words here from Bonesaw, he can't believe what we, he's seeing, and neither can I, I'm in a loss here, look at this, oh, this is not good, right on the neck, right on the, oh, excuse me, Nick Jackson moved out of the way from his brother, Matt. As Matt Hardy pretends to his brother, it's not looking good, but we're looking back live here. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of action here to follow. We apologize. We're trying to keep up with this as best as we can as we now see Matt Hardy intending with his brother, Jeff. But Jeff singling, he's going to be okay. Jeff, uh, I, I might have some disdain for him, but I don't want to see him dead. That's that's too much. That's well, too far. Super kick there from Nick Jackson as Penta's tied in the ropes. Both Bucks are now climbing the ladder. Oh, th this maniac! Wait a minute, Matt Hardy's back arena. in the match. He's, he's gonna try to. Arena now. He's gonna try to win the titles Here all by he himself. He killed his brother and one of the young Bucks. Oh no, no! Wait a minute, knocking that ladder into the standing ladder. Wait a minute, Nick. Oh. Face planted oh. into the table there. Wow. See, see what I mean? He is, he is a maniac. He's going to kill one of these men. Now he's trying to break Matt's, Matt Jackson's ankle, but Matt moves out of the way. Oh man, Phoenix! Beautiful, beautiful rotation of the slice bread number two. What is he going for? Is he going for? Oh, I thought he was going for a sharpshooter there. Well, Phoenix rolling him oh, over. Oh my! And for, oh. Oh my Faceplant and I'm oh, ready to the ladder. He might have a broken nose after that. Oh man, here goes the Lucha Brothers now up the ladder. Matt's back in the ring. Matt, he, he, he's still going. I, I, twist the fate, twist the fate, coming to Phoenix. Oh, Boom. God. As they're up to the ladder, both Penta and Matt Hardy looking on. Matt's just, he's a madman. He, he has done so much damage to all these men in this ring. I'm flabbergasted. I'm almost speechless. No, he's biting the hand of Penta. Oh, oh God, look at him. He needs to be, he needs to be in a straitjacket. He thinks he's a deity. Now he's just ramming the hand of Pentagon into that ladder. Pentagon's taking a fall. He's taking a fall. It looks oh, like we're gonna get new oh, tag champions. Oh. He's gonna win this all on his own. You cannot, you can't be This is ridiculous. Wait, whoa, 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 why are we back? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Sangre. Sangre. Sangre, what the hell are you doing, man? This is Sangre Guerrera. Holy. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh my God. Sangre, oh, you, you don't know what's going really on. really upset Wait. now, Eric. Two. Don't you? Ha, ha, ha. We got a new hardcore champion, but at what cost? Sangre, what the hell, man? Oh, you know what's at stake goodness. right now? It's claiming what's yours, right? Okay, but we could have done this a different time. Look what's at stake oh, here. Oh my God! Look, look. Penta, oh no! Distraction. Are you kidding me? Oh, Are you kidding me? Bravo! Bravo! What an amazing! Penta oh, still has God. Matt Hardy <laughs> since <laughs> up. Package Brown driver in the ladder. Oh. Phoenix kicks him down. Oh, God. 
Not good. Oh Not good. God. Come here, Matt Seth Hardy's going to have like a neck here. like a I'm slinky. happy for these guys as talents, but come on. Hey, Eric, they deserved it. They fought hard, and they deserved that. After especially the, the, the tremendous damage that, that, that maniac Matt Hardy tried to do to them. Can someone fire that damn pyro guy? <laughs> oh, 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 what's the matter there? Are you scared? Uh, yeah, when you hit that close to the damn stage and a pyro goes off. As Kane and Paul Bear make their way to the ring, they're representing WXF here, so you know where I, my heart's going to stand. Ugh. Kane, that, that freaky menace. Didn't he try to kill his brother? Of and course he tried to kill his brother. He electrified Shane McMahon's undercarriage. He's, he's a sick man. And an even sicker man with him. The, the, the detestable Paul Bearer. Well, much like you, most of the crowd here cannot stand this man at this current point either. You have a couple of uh, adulation here. But everybody here, they don't want to see the competition go over. And neither do I. Oh, no. Oh. No. That damn pyro, man. Ugh. Stop smiling, Eric. It's not funny. Uh, I'm not. I'm just smiling at you. I have nothing. I have nothing good to say about Kane right now representing my competition. But I'm just laughing at you. Anytime you suffer is a good time for me. You know what? I should root for damn Kane now. Oh, yeah. You turn, coat. You would. I would. At a moment's notice. Oh, God. How much did you put us back for that, that Jurassic Park animatronic? Almost as much as your real doll, Misty. Hey, you don't talk about Misty. As we see Luchasaurus making his way here with Jungle Boy. Pat, I gotta say something. You gotta invest in your money better there, pal. You're talking to me about that? Well, you know what? I invested in MJF coin, so <laughs> joke's on you. Who's your financial advisor? <sighs> Brian Alvarez. As we see Juggle Boy and Luchasaurus making their way to the ring. Getting ready for the big red machine. Hey, big men looking at it now. The Clash of the Colossals. Really does look like two dinosaurs fighting. Might as well be Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, whatever the hell they're up to now. Jurassic World, colorable tie-up. But now some Lucha from here from Luchasaurus with a nice kick to the face of Kane. I will say, Luchasaurus does have the speed advantage here. But does he have the power advantage? And that's the big question. Big clothesline. We will be finding out. There, well, it could be argued that both these men could be evenly matched. We won't know until this is all over who has the edge here. But so far, I would say... Both men are evenly matched. Big elbow there from Kane with some nice knee strikes to the back of the dome of Luchasaurus. Woof. Well, I do like Kane's ability to try and ground Luchasaurus. Try to take DDT. a lot of his speed. One. He's going for a quick cover here. One. Two. No, not even a two count. You're not going to put him away that quickly. I totally agree. You're not going to put away Luchasaurus just like that. Kane needs to really understand that any any amount of damage that he can take, Luchasaurus is probably going to be able to take as much as well. Both can endure just as much, if not Kane can endure more, but a big rotating sidewalk slam. Kane going off the ropes. Camp up from Luchasaurus. Yeah, you're big seeing, moon seeing, stomp. You're seeing the, the, the level of, of athleticism from Luchasaurus that Kane... Moon salt in the cover! Two. Two. Oh, Kane, no! Oh, oh, my goodness. This was, this was a, almost a very short match. Kane, Kane is not usually manhandled to this, to this level. This is just... This is insanity. 
As Kane is just taken out to the floor here. Luchasaurus about to go for a big dive. To be on Hilo, you got to be kidding me. I being in the in 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 the arena, you you hear the shake from the, both big bodies hitting the ground. I'm surprised the ring hasn't exploded yet. Both men trying to wh whip each other into some type of corner. Kane, reversal. Pucha goes right into the steps. A skull onto steel is never fun. Uh, if, if you've ever hit your head against a, a door or anything uh, uh, along the lines of, of that nature, you, you, you realize that steel... Oh, Jungle Boy, stay out of this. You're going to get hurt. Jungle Boy just trying to check on his friend Kane in the children's name. Jungle Boy, no, no. Luchasaurus covered the eighth. I agree with you, Pat. If you say to a metal grain, to a door, anything, you feel it the next day. Kane's going to feel that ring post right across the dome. Luchasaurus now going up top. Turning yes. around for a big mood slope, but no, nobody home. Completely unnecessary. Wait a minute. You see that light coming from the urn? Yeah, it's... Oh, it's, get out of it. Get out of there. Come on. It's powering the resiliency of Kane. Both Probably. men got a choke involved. But, oh, big headbutt. Wow. But Kane grabbing Luchasaurus up and down for a choke slam. One. Could this be it? Could this be Ooh. it? Kick out, kick out, kick Ooh. out. Oh, oh my goodness. Tough break here. This is too much. It could he could not be stopped. My team has one more tombstone left in his giant body. Uh oh. I don't think my team is quite finished yet. Hold on! My no. name is Mario Cuento. Matanza Cueto making his return to EMW. Dario Cueto of Lucha Underground, the former owner and promoter of Lucha Underground, making his debut here alongside his brother. Oh no. What are we in store here, Bonesaw? Death and violence. Definitely violence. As you can see, the blood all over this man. If you could call him a man, he's some type of monster. We don't we don't know what this thing is. As he just manhandles Kane, who just had a grueling match here with Luchasaurus. Pummels the man. I've never in, in my years of commentary, I've never seen Kane just manhandled like this. Oh my god. Wrath of the gods! Oh my god! Oh my god! We went right through the ring! I called it! Foreshadowing if I've ever seen any. As we see Paul Bauer and Dario concerned for both their men. Oh my goodness. We'll be right back, ladies I, and gentlemen. I am, I am shocked.
Well, making his way to the ring right now is Sangre Guerrero. Well, I should be happy for him. I'm very disappointed of how he just got this hardcore title. He knows where we're at right now. Uh, Sangre, I apologize for you not getting the opportunity you deserve, but right now, th this was not the right way to go about this there, man. Hey, he deserved it. He was taking rep recompense for the deliberate attack from WXF. You did nothing to stop it. You're the one that's being selfish, Eric. You Don't won. push me. He's from China. We now see the arrival here of the Radio Superstar from WXF, Edge. I would love to say that Edge has aged like fine wine. He just keeps getting better and better as as he gets older. Weren't you just saying that the Hardy Boys were washed up? Come well, on. Well, this man didn't take undue liberties with his body. Okay, so he he is been able to mature and to become better while they broke down. You can't, you, can't, you can't get on me about that. It's the truth, Eric. As much as you don't want to believe it. Mr. Turncoat himself here on commentary along my side. As we now see Edge running into the ring. Damn, he looks good. Looks like a good part of the crowd here is in support of Edge. He is a legend. Putting all things aside between our current feud with the competition here. I I think he looks fantastic. He as as he gets older, the more competent wrestler he has become. And I think he is going to be the rated R X Factor in this match. Well, he's going to endure a lot of damage. I hope you're aware of that. Oh, especially with this maniac coming up. Well, now we have the arrival of... Shit! Oh, God. Justin Roberts has nothing to worry about about you taking his job. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, as if where you're a threat to anyone else's job. Maybe I'm a threat to yours. Oh Never yeah, you that. wish. Ah, oh, that look at the maniac eyes. He's he's completely deranged. The dungeon of dysfunction here in EMW, loving this man. He's right at home here as we see all this pyro smoke. Oh, he Come should on. be locked up with Matt Hardy. They should just Oh, give me a break. Sure sell already. I, I still can't believe he's married to to Renee Young. It's completely completely ridiculous that that he could be married to so, someone that that sweet he's he's like it's like being married to a barbed wire or, or, or a rabid wolverine well here is the barbed wire bat but edge drop kicking him right in front of us right on their way oh no what's edge doing oh right in front of us in our table All right, i love great. you edge but you can't do it you're gonna, you're gonna destroy our desk Ooh. All right, Sangre, get the job done. You don't have to look at me. <laughs> he looks like he's pissed. Oh! Hey, oh. He, he, he's waiting. He's wasting too much time looking at me. But now Moxie is into the steps. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not one of those matches. It's going to be fast. It's going to be heavy. But it's going to be extreme. Extreme is the word. And honestly, if you thought the, the ladder match was brutal, you haven't seen anything yet. As we see Edge trying to choke Sangre with that chair. Ugh. But Moxley has that trash can. He looks like he's going to try to throw it. Ooh, got right off the stole of Edge. Though, and and I got to remind the, the 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 viewers, those trash cans are heavy. These yes. are metal trash cans. These aren't just regular plastic ones. These are metal, and they hurt like hell. Ooh, the nice kendo stick to the back of the dome, but Sangre, nice head scissors takedown to get Moxley in the ring. 
What's he doing here? Is he? Well, he's going for a nice handstand here. Look at this. Springboarding into a some One. type of press. Two. Kick out by Moxley there. Edge now grabbing a hold of Sangre. Sangre whips it around. Don't stop it. No. Moves out of the way. And Sangre tending to his knee here. Oh, that, that Moxley. He's. Oh! Big German suplex there from Sangre Guerrero onto the trash can of Moxley. Now going for the cover. Edge breaking up with a oh, my man. Oh, and that's why Edge is, is so great. He's, that's why he's been champion so many times. Oh. He has a level of brutality that we've seen against Mick Foley, against Tommy Dreamer. Uh, he has that that mean streak if he needs to. He can hit you with a barbed wire baseball bat and not blink an eye. He I can see the blood disagree. run down your forehead and not care. Can't disagree, but now he's looking to Moxie on the floor. What's my, Wait, No! He's going to light to to anything can happen here in EMW we're not opposed to a little death match uh, Sangre now on the floor set up a table wait a minute he's jumping on the barricade the agility of this man Huda Karana through the table of Moxley yeah and, and Moxley loves this sort of thing he's a lunatic Edge now trying to hit Sangre with the Sydney Porcade but no no effect at all Sangre shrugging it right off Edge now tripped by Sangre as Edge whacks himself. Now Sangre picking him up with a big slam, rolling him around. He's going for a quick cover. One. Come on, Edge, kick out, Two. kick out. And there he is, he's kicking out here. Sangre now up on his feet. A nice little side kick there to the dome of Edge. Now where's Sangre going for? Oh no, the barbed wire board. Oh, Look at that thing. God, all the blood and rust. Why, man? Wait a minute. A window pane? Oh, my God. A window a pane window by Moxley. And then he's suplexing him on the glass. Oh. Insane freak. He got a window pane. Let's take a look at this again. Moxley with the window pane over the dome of Sandre. Oh. And he suplexes him. He modified suplexes the man onto glass. Like you said, anything can happen in EMW. Especially with that, that maniac who looks up to that, that drug-addled bank robber, Nick Gage. Oh, God. Oh, oh my wire. God. DDT on the barbed wire. That, oh. that's, an, that's an impaler worthy of game grill. Oh, come on. Now game. he's... He's disrespecting the EMW colors. Edge, you suck. There, oh no, look. He's Edge flipping Edge off. No, Edge. Oh. oh Little sign language for Edge there. And now look at this, the bar wire right across the face of Edge. Oh, he's not gonna be uh, uh, he, Edge is not gonna be pretty anymore. Wait a minute, Sangre, big oh. drop kick. And missile drop kick. All three men are Staggering here. Women spear! Spear, it's over. That has to be. Oh what? no, Moxley. Moxley, you. What the hell are you doing, Moxley? Big! Death Rider! Paradigm shift, whatever you want to call it, on the barbed wire. But wait a minute, Sangre go for his move. Oh! God. And Sangre now he going set on the table. Wait a minute, an inverted senton through two tables on Moxley. One, two, three. And we still oh have a champion. God. I, I, I'm flabbergasted. Well, let's get an instant replay of all this action. Mr. Bonesaw, uh, I, I can't condone how Sangre got the championship. I'm just happy he has the title here. I well, just don't know where he stands, but I'm happy he has the championship here with so far representing EMW. Well, I can say one thing, Eric. A guy who did that to Edge and, and, and that lunatic Moxley, you should be deathly afraid if he comes after you. 
as you see Sangri Guerrero now with the championship. An honest, well-deserved victory here for the man of Peros del Mal, Sangre Guerrero. What an incredible match. Oh, here comes this sociopath, Killer Cross. Sociopath? He got, he had the other lunatic, uh, Moxley, coming out. He, with a glass pane and, and, and worshipping that, uh, that bank-addicted bank drug robber, Nick Gage. And you're calling this man a, a, a sociopath? He looks like a well-adjusted gentleman, and you're calling him a sociopath. Eric, you you got a real... Bad judgment oh, problem. Give me a break here. Yeah, listen here, Mr. Turncoat. This guy is a hired gun. He's a mercenary, and we don't know. I don't even know what I saw early, earlier. This show was even legitimate or not. If he legitimately broke a man's leg, either way. Hey, I, no, I, I, he, he choked out. He choked out Drew McIntyre. Our current TV champion. This man is not the TV champion. I want everyone at home to know that. So before anyone makes any assumption, he's not the TV champion. However, this match will be very much advised to watch from our champion, Drew McIntyre. Killer Cross, I've had conversations with the man. He is, a, he is a, as normal as they come. Oh, he, yeah, you would say that. normal as they come. Because you're a, normal? Well, I was. I have been tested, sir. I have been tested, and I come back as completely normal. Someone who's not normal, this man coming up right now. Oh, I could agree with you here. This man is everything opposite of normal. The... You can name everything this man has done. All the lunacy, all just everything that comes with it. Raven. Well, it looks like he's got something to say here to Mr. Cross. Well, he looks like a reject from the 1990s. Was, was he coming from a, a Nine Inch Nails concert? Get him out of here. I, I'm getting sick of looking at him. I'll oh, have some respect for a legend, would you? Darby is relentless. He, we could all agree with that there. He's relentless in his, in his uh, ability to try and injure himself. It, Somebody just needs to tell him to put on put on some muscle. Yeah. Oh come on! Put put on some muscle. Learn how to wrestle and stop trying to kill yourself every single match. This man is a tremendous wrestler. I haven't seen you in the ring yet. And now well, as he makes well, his way I to the work, ring, I would work circles around him. I'll believe it when I see it. But as we see now, Darby Allen making his way to the ring. Darby on his skateboard here. I don't know how I feel about this mentorship of Raven and Darby, but whatever can help get Darby some momentum here in EMW, I'm all for it. Darby needs to just stick to skateboarding. He is not a pro wrestler. I don't care what he did in AEW or what Sting thinks of him or what Raven thinks of him. He needs, he needs to leave this promotion. He is not worthy. He's too small. He, you know, you know what the term is? Vanilla midget. And you would see Darby. Oh, come on now. Look, look at this. Viewers, look at this. Just pure size dis discrepancy. And look, the cheap shot immediately. Oh, he's given a forearm, which is totally legal here in EMW. I would like to remind everyone at home, there are no count outs, no disqualifications here in EMW. Literally, anything goes. As we see
Gee, now a big boot there from Killer Cross to the throat of Darby Allen. Oh, he's gonna feel that one in the morning. Nice head scissors here. Head scissors. Cross goes out to the floor. Darby maneuvering around. Oh, he's diving his body right into Cross into the barricade. Darby going out now. He's going for another dive. What is this here? Coffin drop already? But no! Cross catches him. Oh, I just want to say, look at the power. Oh! Flings him and throws him right on the apron. My God, the contort on his neck there. Oh, Whoa. no, what's this? He's ripping apart that barricade padding. Well, he he knows that, that doing this level of damage, especially... Whoa. Oh, come on! Look at Ref. the exposed barricade there. What the hell, there. Ref? What, what, what were you watching? Yeah, what were you watching there, Bonesaw? Your man here just took all the padding off. He he was trying to fix it. He wasn't. Oh God! Yeah, he was trying sorry. to fix it. it, it it's it's. Darby fine. now pulling him in the ring. Some ch some shots to the head of Cross. This is totally just breaking down here. And he's got a sleeper hole, but Cross just toying with him. Moving around. Big Doomsday Saito! See, that's what you have to do. You have to get, use your physical presence. Use your strength. Oh, my God. And speaking of physical strength, he's got Darby. Oh, no. What's he doing? He's throwing Darby! Oh, into the exposed barricade! It, it was there already. It was there already. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, he's just taunting the, this, both. Now what's both he doing? That, he's got that those little steps. Raven and that little boy. Wait a minute. He's doing the steps. In, what are you doing, you sociopath? Hey, why is Raven even here? Why isn't the referee he, throwing him out? He's Raven hasn't done a damn thing. He's only here to mentor Darby. No, he's trying to distract him so Darby can get a cheap shot. Cross has the clear advantage here, and he's just toying with Darby. He's undermining him. He's flinging him around in a clear weapon here, making a weapon of a barricade. Now he's bringing steps into this. The steps, the steps are fine. They, he moved them in. Raven now, Raven now getting involved. What? Say the leg of cross. The Big DDT on the steps. This is ridiculous. One. Now going for the cover here. Mm. Two. And he throws Darby into the ref. Shh. That shouldn't be allowed. It shows this the the overall strength of this man. But look at look at the relentlessness. Look at the durability here of Darby. Firing back. Now he's trying to get an arm bar on Cross. The cross now. Whip Darby right into the corner. You know they they call the uh, uh, Darby Allen the 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 enigma, but you know what's an enigma to me? How the hell he's a wrestler? Yoshi Tonic on the steps. Oh my God! Look, he almost he could have killed him. He could have killed him. He, how oh is man, he this could be it. His neck. This could be it here. Darby up top. Big coffin drop coming. Come on, Darby! Yeah! Come on, go two for two. Two for two here, come on, we need it. EMW needs it. One, two. Oh, wait a minute, who the hell is this? Oh, oh no, I know who this is. Oh, come on, a big DDT there. No, it's Andrade Alidolo. Dear God, he's making his EMW debut. Oh, I'm sure he's representing WXF. And now look at this, here's Raven. Raven looking to even the odds here, not happy. He did not get in this ring one bit until now because he needed to. Oh, Raven effect, DDT coming in, yeah! Andrade only helped Killer Cross because Raven was blatantly being involved in this match the entire time. Cross was poking the bear of Raven, but wait a minute, he was going for a pin, Darby was. He was trying to reverse that straight jacket, but no, that straight jacket choke. That cross jacket choke, excuse me. He's just choking the life out of him. C come on, ref, call this. That sleeper hold cinched in. Oh, and that's gonna be, damn it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, damn I it. Knew it. I knew it, Darby couldn't win. 
Get him out of the, get him out of this arena. He don't des- he doesn't deserve to be a wrestler. Oh. Get him out. This is not what EMW put, needed. This is not looking good here. Put him in a body bag. Because oh. that's what he's only that's only what he's good for. Do a lot of interference, do a lot of messing around. WXF clearly had an upper edge here. No, clearly Killer Cross was the better man here. And and you ha- you you you're call- complaining about Andrade. Well, what about Raven? Look, but yeah, look at this man. He's not even the TV champion here. Fans, we gotta process everything we've seen here, and unfortunately, I have. Well, to Well, congratulations say, to the TV champion retaining his uh, title. He's not the TV champion. He Drew McIntyre is the champion. He never pinned Drew for the championship. There was never a, a, a stipulation. Do you see Drew? Do you see Drew anywhere? He's the champion. The record books show. The record books show that the champion is still Drew McIntyre, and when he comes back and he's healthy, he will take out Cross. Well, it, that has been yet to be seen, my friend, and I believe Killer Cross is a reigning TV champion. So he, so he wants to, to believe. That's what sociopaths want you to believe. They want you to believe their false sense of reality. Then call me a sociopath. You too. are a sociopath. I, I not because I've been tested. Oh Thank yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. You need to be tested well, for a lot more let's, there. Let's go on to our next match, okay? Well, now we up, get on to our next match. Well, next up at this point, ladies and gentlemen, EMW, unfortunately, did lose the the battle here. But I assure you, after tonight, the war has yet just yet to begun. But coming up next, our main event for the EMW World Title: Finn Balor defends against Eddie Guerrero. Oh, I, I love me some Eddie Guerrero. Viva la raza! Eddie Guerrero, Latino Heat, making his way to the ring here for our main event. This is this is one of the, one of the premier main events you'll see. This this man is a legend. He's a legend in Japan. He's a legend in Mexico, and he is a legend in the United States. He is from the story Guerrero family, uh, uh, Agori, uh, Chavo himself. Uh, 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 he he is among one of the greatest Mexican wrestlers to ever ever lace up. Bone well, saw so we disagree on a lot, but I cannot disagree with you here in the very least. As we get a good nice shot here of Eddie posing for the crowd, but he's asking for a microphone. This is what this is all about. Oh, they, what are you doing bringing out a special rep? I didn't authorize this. Hey, it's it's a it's a way of keeping everything fair. You had you had all your other refs 
refereeing every other match. It's only fair. Oh, Rey Mysterio! Oh, here comes Rey Mysterio. But he's wearing an EMW shirt. Okay, all right. He's got one of our official shirts. I don't see any WXF referee shirts more than tonight. Ray now making his way to the ring. It's good to see Ray. I, I, honestly, I know, I, I want to say that Ray would do the job for Eddie Guerrero, but knowing him, he has been a, a, a goody two shoes for the majority of his career. So I don't think I think he's going to be very fair and balanced. I have a feeling he could hopefully. I, was, I gotta use my gut and my hope here that he would pull us down the middle as he was tag partners last year with Finn. Not that they have an outstanding friendship, but I like to believe Ray is good for doing the right thing. As we win our champion, the Demon King, or in this case, the Prince Balor. It's very telling that he's he's coming out with the, without his demon makeup almost to show that he can beat Eddie Guerrero as a man rather than the demon no head games no mind games needed here from the prince he's just coming out here straightforward looking for a traditional match just looking to prove he has what it takes to be a champion he wants to prove everybody of the Bullet Club wrong for letting him go for exiling him out of the Bullet Club he wants to prove that he has what it takes to be the champion of not just EMW of today, but EMW of all time. Well, can he beat Eddie Guerrero? That is the main question here. Because Eddie, again, is a legend. And to beat him at this point would cement Finn Balor's legacy. But you have to remember, Eddie Guerrero is not going to be an easy opponent. Remember, he is the man that did dethrone Brock Lesnar. Very true here. Unfortunately, Finn was unsuccessful in beating Brock Lesnar when he had the opportunity to. So that is a nice common thread here that Eddie would have bragging rights over. Yes, at this point, I, I don't I don't believe Finn Balor can beat uh, uh, Eddie Guerrero, but we will find out very, very shortly. As we get a look now of the EMW World's Heavyweight Championship. And as Eddie now checking both competitors, making sure they're ready. And we bells on their way, and here we go. They're taking the time just to stare each other down. Oh, nice collar and, uh, and, and elbow lock up. As you see from the hashtag up above, we thank you here for checking out EMW versus WXF. You use that hashtag up top for t Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you're viewing this, YouTube, to join in on the conversation is now Finn Balor doing an arm drag of his own to Eddie Guerrero. Now, shooting off here, Eddie looks like he's reversing it for his own arm drag again. In terms of, I, I understand that Finn, that Finn Balor is, is as technically sound as you can be. But in in terms of technical prowess, I don't think he's going to beat Eddie Guerrero. Remember, he in his prime, Eddie was uh, 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 can, uh, uh, constantly having wars against Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit. Uh, 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 you're, you're talking about legends in, in technical wrestling. This is very true, but you cannot discredit. All the matches Finn Balor has had with the likes of AJ Styles, the likes of Kenny Omega, the likes of so many other current, just total masters of the craft. Oh. And a big head scissors Huna Karana there the, from the corner. You can tell Finn is being taken back with this, this offense from Eddie. Nice shot there to the face of Eddie, but he's now drop kicking Eddie out of the floor. Finn looks like he's going for, oh my goodness. Oh, a big tope on Hilo.
Now Whoa. Finn rolling over Eddie Guerrero now. Going for the Ooh. cover. Two. And a kick out for Matty. You're not going to put him away this season. Right? Off the ropes now. And a big tornado DDT. Oh, man. And that is very classic Eddie Guerrero, what we're seeing right now. Uh, the, other, the other thing is, with Eddie Guerrero, you're going to see a lot of... Uh, 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 eye, eye gouges, uh, 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 any, any way of getting oh. out of this. Speaking of eye gouging, just raking the face with Eddie's boot right after that he low. Now Eddie now eyeing him down with a big drop kick there, or a low drop kick, excuse me. This is just classic Eddie. He's, he knows what he's going to have to do to win this match, and you are not going to stop him. If well, he no. needs to lie, cheat, or steal, he's going to win this match. On the defensive end, now you see Finn Balor there with some chops. Now going over, and he ducks, leapfrog. Finn going through. What's coming up here? Ooh, a big tilt a whirl backbreaker. Wow. It's it's One. genius that Eddie's trying to Two. go for. And a, a near fall here. Uh, it's genius that he's trying to go for the back, trying to take away the leverage for Finn to do his uh, his big spots off the top rope. And now, yeah, and it's working on that back more, the big belly to back suplex. Finn favoring that back there. Now Eddie, couple shots to the face, woof. Well, Eddie right now needs to stop. He needs to ground Finn, try to work that back. He, he doesn't need to get into a striking match with Finn. Because one thing I will say, Finn is a better striker. And if he gets you to the ground, he's going to stop you into pace. I agree. Eddie, Eddie now just was reversed by Finn with the big dragon suplex, man. Finn with the big comeback here. That could be a difference maker in this matchup. It might as well very be. This is exactly what I was saying, ex expecting from Finn. He's going to strike Eddie. Oh, nice chop right back. Well, Eddie now trying to keep up with the striking game here of Finn. Finn now going off the ropes. Big sling blade. Very classic move from uh, Finn Balor. Uh, something we've seen in numerous matches. He is, Eddie's in a world of trouble right now. He, d he needs to get back up and One. wrestle this match his way. Cover now. Ooh. Can we see a championship retain here? And no. Eddie kicking out at two. That was a close a close two count there. Finn now getting Eddie into the corner. Well, what could he be going for here? Could he be going for... He could be going for anything. A Luna Corona, a suplex. But an eye gouge from Eddie. Oh, uh, the, that line sheet steal tactic. Oh, wait. What's this? A Mexican destroyer from Eddie Guerrero. Unbelievable. Finn, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that he was able to uh, momentarily stand from that. I, I don't think he was standing from it. I think the momentum caused him to pop up and just plop right down. As you see this reverse again, this replay, you see it again. Big Mexican destroyer from Eddie. My goodness. One. New champion here. Could we see it? Oh. And the crowd is loving this matchup, but Eddie just doesn't know what to do here. Eddie, you got it. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Now, Ray, Ray's talking to Eddie. Ray, he said, Ray, you don't need oh, he's just pushing. But Ray's reminding him, hey, I'm the ref. I'm Ray, the stop here. being such a goody two-shoes. Let him let the man Eddie's do what he has to. Finn, but wait a minute. Ray gets knocked down. Oh, come on. I think that may have been even on purpose for Eddie. Remember, Ray stole his child from him. Re remember oh, the fact. God, let's not, let, remember the let's fact. not talk about this. Let, remember the fact that his son is Dominic. Oh, give me a break here. And here comes the, the... It looked like a brain buster. He was actually doing the three amigos, but he transitioned the final to a brain buster, and now he's talking to Ray. He's trying to see if Ray's okay, but Ray ain't buying it. He knows Eddie's just trying to play a, a trick on him. But Eddie looks like he's going up top. Could we see it? We could see the big 
patented Eddie Guerrero frog splash. The, and here it is, the big frog splash. Is it going to get If he hits it, it's over. Was. Oh, this, oh, this could be it. Oh. Real champion Ooh. here. Ooh. And the three, no. Oh, my God. There's that resiliency. There How? Is that, there is, How? There is that strong ability from Finn, the resiliency that just never, never say I quit. He's channeling the demon, even though he's, he's going. Not his, looks like he's going for like a gory bomb or a gory special here. But Finn looks like Finn's countering out of it. Finn gets his feet and a big Pele. Could we? And he's down. As we see Finn Balor now, looks like he's going for the shotgun drop kick to the corner. But we got to remind everyone that that corner is exposing. Oh, the, as I say that, Eddie's head's gliding with that metal rung. Oh. oh no, here we go. No. Come on, no. Looks like, is he going for the coup de grace? He's definitely going for it, but is it going to connect? And he hits it to two deep draws from Prince Pallor. One. Great going for the count now. One. Two. Come on, Eddie. Two. Kick out. Three. And we still have the champion. Let's get a replay of this one as we may have not been successful in this battle tonight with WXF. I'm just happy the title stays where it belongs. Not just with the MW, but Balor. I just want Prince. To I just Ballard. wanted to see your face if Eddie had won. It would have been I would have been I would have been happy for the man as he had a tremendous match. No one can discount anything away from Eddie Guerrero. And I am rest assured the door is always open to Eddie himself, regardless of where he stands with Omega. Well, I will I will congratulate the champion on retaining his match. I, I, I thought he had a fantastic showing. Uh, I, I, I'm, I might. You sound flabbergasted, Bone Saw. I am. I am flabbergasted. I couldn't believe he would actually beat Eddie. Well, I congratulate him. I'm a man. I'm a man of, of uh, humility, and I will congratulate our, our reigning champion for his, his extraordinary accomplishment. And he, here he is with, with Ray. Being congratulated, being showing his his championship belt to the to the crowd, and having his arm raised. Finn now celebrating with the crowd as you see Rey Mysterio showing off that Finn is your champion. Eddie has nothing to be ashamed about. It. He may be disappointed, but rest assured, there may come another day for him. The man is a legend. He has nothing to, to be ashamed of. He had a great match. And uh, you know, it, it, he just he just uh, didn't have everything he needed today. The fan giving him the salute, that little too sweet, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you very much here for joining us. you.